Today is a very sad day for the state of Georgia. Yes, it is. I am Park Cannon's pastor. I know her, she's a very intelligent woman and a very dignified and committed public servant. And what we have witnessed today is a desperate attempt to lock out and squeeze the people out of their own democracy. And in this effort, in this case, they're literally being locked down. The people are being locked down and locked out of their own democracy. Yep. But this effort to silence the voices of Georgians who stood up in a historic election in November and January will not stand. That's right. That's right. And so we stand with the people of Georgia. Thank you. The goal of voter suppression is to so demoralize the electorate that people don't even bother to try. But that will not happen. We are going to take this fight to give the people their voices back from the Red Hill Clay, from the Red Clay Hills of Georgia, all the way back, all the way to the United States Senate. We're not going to let them take us back. No, not at all. And so we're grateful for those who are here in support of Representative Cannon. She is an outstanding public servant. We're praying for her, we're praying for her family, but we are praying also for Georgia and for the soul of our democracy. We are witnessing right now a kind of wrestling in the soul of Georgia. Will we go forward or will we go backwards? We will not allow a few politicians in their craven That's right. lust for power That's right. to take us back. The democracy doesn't belong to the politicians, it belongs to the people. That's right. Senator, That's right. succinctly, what makes this bill so unjust? Oh, this bill is outrageous. First of all, by the admission of Georgia's own Secretary of State, uh, there was no widespread fraud in this election. So they're trying to fix something that's not even broken. Yep. We, we should be making it easier for people to vote, not harder. Yep. That's right. exactly. And um, the people aren't asking for this. This is democracy in reverse. Rather than the people being able to choose their politicians, the politicians are trying to cherry pick their voters. Right. And this desperate effort will not stand. We're going to take this fight all the way to the halls of Congress. Were you allowed to speak with her inside? And if so, can you t share with what, what she said? Yeah, as, as I said, I've known uh, Representative Cannon for years. She's my parishioner. Um, she is understandably a bit shaken by what happened to her. She didn't deserve this. She did not, not at all. And uh, we'll continue to uh, pray for her and to walk with her through this. Senator Warnock, now that We've had the Who, bill. Who's asking me? I'm sorry, this is George Cheedy. I'm with the Intercept. All right. Um, with the passage and signing of the bill, should Georgians who oppose this be considering a boycott of Georgia businesses? We we need Georgia businesses to stand up in a moment like this. They they too are citizens of this state, and I can tell you, as someone who is the pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church, where Dr. King served that come Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, the corporate entity, entities in this state will all be falling over themselves to honor Dr. King. If you want to honor Dr. King, stand up against voter suppression right now. Right. 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 Does anybody else uh, wish to speak? Well, we just want, no, we no, just no, want no. everyone to understand that this is a process towards justice. We fully expect that Park Cannon's name will be cleared in this process and we respect her privacy. If she decides that she wants to speak, that will come at a different time, but we want everybody to hold her up in prayer as the pastor said, but to also make sure that justice is fair, equal, and balanced. And so we will continue to fight for her. She loves the fact that everyone is out here supporting her, but she just needs time now because it was very traumatic, the situation at the Capitol. Uh, she has 
sustain bruises that we need to address. And we also need to address what happened. Because you had an African-American woman who was standing up for the voters, for the voices of millions of Georgia voters. Yep. That cannot be missed in this moment. Yep. Right. And it's important that we understand the time that we are in and that justice must reign in this case, just like justice has to reign in that capital. She got out roughly 11 o'clock. How long was she in there then? Uh, she was in there since about six o'clock. So uh, it was a prolonged amount of time. We are thankful uh, of the work of the sheriff and the chief jailer in expediting this, because typically people would stay overnight. Uh, but we are still going to communicate with the district attorney about our concerns about this case and hopefully be able to come to a, a, a positive resolution for, let, let for Representative me, Clark Cannon. Yes, sir. Let me just say this. Um, we, and, and I'm sure that, that you know, this, this case will play itself out, but I saw a good deal of this video, and I saw a state representative knocking on the door yep. uh -huh. of the governor. Uh -huh and she was arrested. Yeah. Meanwhile, we saw a violent insurrectionist attack yeah. 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 on the United yeah. States yeah. Capitol. And uh, police officers died in that case. Yeah. And I wanna know what makes her actions so dangerous yeah. and the actions of those who were trying to undermine a, an actual election. Uh, so benign in the minds of some politicians. It is that big lie uh, that is the fuel for these terrible voter suppression laws that we see coming out of the state of Georgia. And we've had to push hard against the big lie uh, and make sure that we secure the democracy for all of our citizens.